Hello, this will be a brief video showing how to download and upload to Beckoff TwinCat PLCs. You'll want to verify that the physical connection between your programming PC and controller is established properly. Perhaps the easiest way to verify this is opening the Windows command prompt and making sure you can ping the device you are trying to reach. Expand the system tray in the bottom right corner of your screen. Click on the TwinCat icon and select Router and Edit Routes. This will pop open a new window showing all of the previous connections made to your PC. Select Add in the bottom left hand corner. In the Add Root dialog box, you have two options for finding the PLC you want to connect to. The first option is Broadcast Search, which will attempt to find all TwinCat devices on your network. If this fails, you have the option to manually enter the IP address of the device. After the device has been identified, click on it and then click Add Root. Next, you will need to enter the device's password to finish connecting. If you don't know the username and password, the default security options are Administrator with a password of 1. To upload from the PLC, open a new instance of Visual Studio. In the top right corner, select File, Open, and Open from Target. In the next dialog box, select the device you just added and hit OK. This is all that is required to upload a project from the PLC. To download existing code, open your TwinCat project and select the following dropdown to show all the devices you have made a connection to in the past. Select the PLC you want to connect to. You know a successful connection has been made if you see no error messages and the green login button in the toolbar is illuminated. Click the green login button to finish connecting to the PLC. If the code in your project matches that on your PLC, your login button will disappear and you will see a red stop button and a red logon button. If your project does not match what is in the PLC, you will be prompted with the following dialog box to confirm if you want to download over what already exists in the controller.